Good morning and welcome to the Student Hub Live. My name's Karen Foley and this is our two-day refreshers orientation event to welcome new students to the Open University and to engage with continuing students. Now, some of you may have been to these events before, some of you may be joining us for the first time, but I bet you're really excited about your OU study. And this event is all about you, our audience at home, logging in, logging off, contributing as much or as little as you'd like to, to the chat, to the voting tools, and to our social media discussions that will follow. So let me explain for those of you who are new how it all works. So this is a live interactive event and I'm sitting here at the Open University in Milton Keynes and I've got a range of really exciting guests who I'm going to introduce you to throughout the day. We've got a fab programme of all the things that we think new and continuing students need to know. You might have been studying for a while, but did you know that you can get appointments with the Careers Advisory Service or what the library can do to help with your referencing? Well, we're going to cover all of these sorts of things as well as, as looking at current topics like mental health, studying with mental health difficulties. We've got a fabulous quiz this afternoon as well, our Wheel of Ologies quiz, which is great fun and we'll fill you in on all, how all that works. Um, and lots, lots, lots more. Now, you should see on your screen that there's a chat option and we'd like you to say where you are maybe or what module you're doing. Um, you might want to say how you're feeling um, or where you are in the country. So you can chat and to do that you just type something in that box and press enter and you can send it. You can also change the layout of your interface so if you'd rather the chat was bigger or smaller you can adjust it pressing the little button on the bottom right hand side of the screen. And if the chat's moving really fast and you think, oh, that was an interesting point, I'd like to go back to it, there's a little pin button that looks very much like a pin at the top of the chat. And you can press that and then hold it and you can go back and forwards throughout the chat as well. Now, on our hot desk today, uh, we've got three people, but first we have HJ and Zach, um, who are going to explain how it all works and also check in with how you're all feeling at home. How are you, HJ and Zach? Doing well, as always. I think there's a lot of people very positive and ready to go in the chat, which Definitely. is always good. Good vibes this morning. Uh, people are already looking at their module and reading through materials, which is great to hear, um, as I know a lot of you are going to be starting in the next couple of days. Um, lots of study tips going on, lots of positive vibes. It's yes, been good. Yes, we like that. And uh, I have to say, David was here super early this morning, which is great to hear. So he was ready to go. He must have eaten something quite super to get going that early. <laughs> But uh, he might be pleased to know that we've got a lot of Davids for the quiz upstairs later on, which I'm really excited about. So uh, hopefully you can be our team home David as well. <laughs> Tell those new people, H.J., how the quiz all works and why we need so many Davids. So when you come and join us on the quiz, there'll be lots of widgets for you to join in. Uh, we like to group up as team home. We're on a bit of a winning streak at the moment. We always do better than the uh, teams upstairs. But uh, I think at the same time, there is some testing of Google that's got nothing to do with what we're doing. But uh, <laughs> yeah, just come and join in in the, uh, in the quiz. You can sit along and just relax, see what's going on or use the widgets to join in as well. But Along with the quiz, like the chat here, anything goes. So we'd like you to chat about whatever's on your mind. So if you're thinking about modules or not too sure about what's going on, then just put in the box. Or if you have some questions for our guests, they always love to hear from you. Actually, we've had some uh, great study tips already because uh, I know Martha Rose is getting back into studying after a while. So she's asked, has she got uh, anyone got any tips on revising? We had some great ones through as well. I think Davin yeah. had a great one too. Davin he? was talking about using flashcards with uh, with questions on one side and the answers on the other, um, which is great kind of physical, visual um, kind of aids to use there. Um, Jess also said, try writing up mock exam questions and you can actually get past papers from the USA website, so our U Student Association. Another great tip there, so really good suggestions. Mm. Uh, I'll just say keep that chat going, keep all the suggestions and thoughts and ideas and questions, keep them flowing so we can uh, yeah, get around to everybody. I like some study tips as well. I've been putting my favourite study tips from last week if you came along to the boot camp on the board. My favourite one was having a routine and some rewards as well from from, uh, Robert so any good tips you've got that I'd like to put on my board we'll uh, put some of those up as well and if there's anything else you want to send us in as well me and Zaka put our selfies on the board and we've had a <laughs> study buddy and some study treats up there as well so you can send them into us on our Twitter at Student Hub Live or through our email studenthub at open.ac.uk oh 
along with the chat. Anything you want to send us or anything you want to talk to us about, we'll be happy to take it through those channels as well. Absolutely. I had lots of emails last week, actually. So if there's something that you don't want to bring up in the chat, but you'd like a response on, then please do email us and we will get back to you. Hey, Shay and Zach, you've both been students. I mean, Zach, you're still studying at the moment and also you work in RSST. Um, but sometimes I think people can come to this chat and indeed forums and things and think, oh, everyone's so much more ahead of me and everyone knows each other. And it can feel like a really friendly place. And indeed it is. But can you sort of fill us in? Because OU studying is something so unique. It's unlike anything else that you would possibly experience. All these acronyms, all these things that you do that only other OU students get. What might people think if they're logging on for the first time and think, oh, look, everyone knows everybody else. And I'm not quite sure if I'm going to say the right thing or not. Definitely. Um, it can be incredibly intimidating and nerve wracking uh, for some students and even to, to a degree like myself when you see so many people that might be ahead of you or already talking about ideas that you might not have had a chance to understand and read through. And what I would just say is that everybody is here to support you. Loads of people are in the same boat as you. And it's about kind of connecting with people. A lot of people can uh, can be sometimes an isolating experience and, and, a, and an uphill struggle. Um, and you just got to remember that loads of people are in the same boat. You've got your tutors there to support you. You've got your student support team. You've got, uh, like you say, your employability services later on down the line in your studies and your students there um, you can kind of speak to on forums and other mediums to, to, to share those ideas and feel more comfortable like you're part of the community, which is what we want. Brilliant. And we've got lots and lots of Q&A sessions later today, so keep those questions coming in. You can ask them um, and hopefully if you don't ask them, somebody else will. But uh, if no one asks them, they're certainly not going to get answered. Now, I've got lots of things on the table here today. And one of the things I wanted to fill you in on is that this whole Student Hub Live, it started a few years ago and it started when we thought, how can we give OU students some sort of freshers experience? You know, how can we welcome them to university? And we thought, well, we're a distance learning provider, so we'll make a virtual freshers fair. So we started these events. But lately, we've been thinking, actually, it's not just about brick universities or distance learning universities. Actually, there's something really unique about being an OU student. And I've got some of the things here that are very familiar to me. When, when I started studying, 20 years ago in New Zealand, I was like, I remember being in the library and I was looking up books in the Dewey Decimal System, you know, and I was writing by hand and photocopying my essays, so I had a copy of them. And I did all of this in the library, being very quiet, of course, as you do in libraries. And then I started studying with the OU, like, quite some time later, and I had all the, these videos, and I remember setting my video recorder and these cassettes and, like, winding them back and things. And, you know, I may look very young, but actually this wasn't that long ago. And I think sometimes it's incredibly surprising how technology just massively changes our lives in a way that we sort of don't expect. And so... Instead of like this virtual parallel to welcome people to your university, this is actually something really, really unique and special. And I think that, you know, often distance education provides things over and above things that could happen in face to face institutions like you guys out there. You know, tell us where you are. Tell us how you're feeling. You can all see what each of you are doing on those widgets when you have voted. So please do fill us in and let us know. And I hope that you find this event really, really special. Now, to sort of pick up on this theme about how technology is changing and also how it might change in the future, I'm joined by three very special guests who I'm going to welcome in just a minute, who is our Vice Chancellor, Peter Horrocks, Head of Library Services, Rosie Jones, and Head of Technology Enhanced Learning, Mark Nichols. But first, I wanted to show you something, again, very special, which is over the road on campus. And this is where Zach works in our student support team. Now, these are the people who will be incredibly helpful for you in your studies, in addition to your tutor and the other students, of course. But let me show you first what the student support team does and then we're going to come back and have a talk about the state of technology and what all of that has to do with universities and the role of universities in this day and age. I'll see you in about six minutes. <laughs> 